Hey everyone, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness. Do you have a busy summer going on but you want to get a great intense workout in? Maybe a total body workout, a little bit of cardio, a little bit of upper, lower body? Well, I've got all of that in today's 30 minute workout for you. So you're going to require a variety of dumbbells. I'm also going to use a step or a bench or a chair, whatever you have handy. I'll show you a modification if you don't have that, okay? But make sure that you have that variety of weights, your BCAAs and your water. We're getting started with a quick little warm up, but if you're all ready to go, you can jump to that number at the bottom of the screen. I'll meet you over there. I'll also end you with a cool down. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do this 30 minute class. reach up and overhead, stretch that chest out. Um, hopefully this isn't gonna be too dark. It actually feels like winter right now today in my house, even though it is the middle of July. Um, it's been down pouring all week. I hoped to do these workouts outside this week and no go, too much rain. So we're indoors again, but I know that the forecast is calling for sun next week. So hopefully we'll film some then. Big stretch in that chest here. Okay, good, good. And there. Let's do a little front lunge, little twist, reach up to the ceiling. Get that chest stretched out as well as your glute. Okay, big stretch. Mm, feels good. I've been sitting doing some editing, so to get up and stretch those pecs out feels amazing this morning. Happy to be able to Move daily with you all today. That's it. Let's go two more here. Reach. Mm. And nice that this is going to be a nice quick workout, but it's going to be effective. Let's reach side to side here. Get the heart rate up a bit. Ten more here. I hope you guys have been keeping up your exercise this summer as well. It's easy to let it go sometimes when we're busy, kids are home, or you're traveling. It's a good reason not to move, but as I always tell my members in the group, people like us do things like this. So if you wanna be fit and healthy, you've gotta do what fit and healthy people do. Right here, open and we move daily, right? So, even if it's something small, you're still thinking, hey, have I been sedentary today? Or did I do something? Mm, good. Front lunge, rotate. That's it, switch. Two more. I've heard from a lot of you who have said that you like these short 30 minute total body workouts for the summer. As you're busy, reach across here, right? But if you're like time frame wise, I've got 30 minutes. I can do something. Give me what you got, Trace. So I've done a few of these already. I'll make sure that I link other ones at the end of this video. So check those out for other days this week. Okay, I'm warmed up. I'm ready to go. Grab your dumbbells and let's get started. All right, that first exercise is gonna be a deadlift alternating front lunge. I've got my 15s here. Feet shoulder width apart. So deadlift first, come up, alternating lunge, ready. Let's work here. Okay, so hinge and front lunge, back to the deadlift. Hinge, other side, there you go. That's the sequence right there. Really reach those hips back on that deadlift. That's it. Super tall, shoulders back, and down we go. This combo feels so fluid, I love it. One. You want to make sure you're lifting heavy enough. If you're only working out for 30 minutes, you got to give you the most bang for your buck. 
lateral to high front raise and down. I've got my eights for this. Here we go. So to the side, lift it up to the high front and down. Boom, boom, and down. That's it, you're halfway. That high saluting position is hard to get up there. If you can, can't get it up there without pushing your hips forward, lift a little lighter. Nice, okay, set this down. Let's go into a crisscross front squat. Okay, a little cardio move. You can modify this here. Here, squat. Okay, that's your low impact version. Otherwise, let's kick it up, okay? Here we go. Chris, cross here, low front. Okay? Get really low. Drop your glutes. And low. This will help get that heart rate up. Also use in a little bit of legs, obviously. Oh, there's our sun. It's coming out. Now hopefully it won't be too bright in here. At least the rain doesn't last super long. All right, good, round two. That wasn't horrible, was it? Okay, deadlift, alternating front lunge, back with my 15s, shoulders back. If you're lifting really heavy here and it hurts your grip strength or your forearm, you could feel free to hold the weights here on that front lunge, okay? Lift them up by your shoulders. Of course, I like to tap my back knee right to the ground on this front lunge. All right, nice. Grab those dumbbells, lateral to high front. Get ready. Here we go. Up here, stick your chest out. I went to physio today for my hip and my elbow is actually bothering me now too, a little tennis elbow. <laughs> he said, just try not to work out this week. All right, that's great, that's good, that's great advice. I'll just do that. <laughs> I'm like, except for working out is my job, so what else you got, bud? <laughs> okay, good. Woo, back to that crisscross front squat. I know I was lifting too heavy probably with a, a hammer curl and I, I've exacerbated my elbow right there, but ready, here we go. So I'm gonna treat it kindly, maybe not lift so heavy, right? And uh, I sit, massage, get my husband to massage it. <laughs> hey, physiotherapist said, babe. This is good, halfway through, come on. Get low. Literally so nice when you know you're just doing your three rounds, 30 minutes, it's not a full hour. You shouldn't feel too exhausted after this one, but you should feel like you've worked out. Okay, one more round. Okay, 
you're ready, pinch your breath and hit that down lift. One subscriber messaged me and said that she feels so completely fatigued after doing that 50 minute metabolic workout, which is like one of the most intense workouts I put out. They're really hard, they're challenging. You have to lift heavy, intense, fast cardio. Anyway, she's like, why am I so tired? So I asked her a series of questions, including sleep, what you eat, post, pre, the night before, because all of that affects, right? Our energy levels. She said that she does intermittent fasting, so she's doing that workout in a fasted state. And that's why you have no energy left. Okay, shoulders back, here we go. I do intermittent fasting as well, but if I'm filming that workout, I have to film it in the afternoon. I can't imagine doing that at like, 9.30 or 10 a.m. with no fuel in my system. I would be blasted. And it's almost like your body, you can't eat enough afterwards to refuel all that lost oxygen, energy stores. Plus, it could be, depending on how your intensity of your intermittent fasting and your size, you don't wanna be eating muscle for energy, right? Or burning muscle. You wanna be burning glycogen or fat, so there's gotta be enough of that in your system to burn. Up, woo, good, okay. Last crisscross front squat, and then a little break if you need, or you can keep going, because we've got another circuit for you, and it includes some Turkish get-ups. Some of you don't like those, that's okay. Here we go, criss, cross, front, low, and. Um, your first exercise in the next circuit, so step up with a front raise. You can do a squat front raise to modify if you don't have a step. I'm going right into it, okay? Because I don't feel like I need a break. Pause if you need, though. Last one here. Okay. I'm gonna grab Probably my eights. Step up. All right, front raise, alternating legs. Here we go. Up, front raise, down, down. Up, front, down, down. Okay, if you're squatting, you're here. Low, up, got it? So keep the heart rate up. Turkish get up is next. I'm gonna hold my one eight pound on my back here. Arm is up, knee is bent, same side. We're pushing up, so it's up. Leg goes behind, you're kneeling, stand. Kneel, hand, sweep, lie down, go, up. All right, switch hands when you're down here. Keep going, push, kneel, stand. Kneel, hand, sweep. Good, go into a bent arm lateral raise, front punch combo. So you're here, you're coming up to the side, here, 
front punch. Okay? 90 degree elbows to start. I've got my fives. Up and one, two. Up and one, two. Good. Sure that you're lifting heavy enough to burn out those front shoulders. You're halfway here. Back to the step up next. Last year. Boom, boom, and. Okay, you have my other eight. Back to the step up front raise. I'm making my bench higher, 18 inches now. I'm feeling it, so I'm gonna do it. Shoulders back, here we go. Up, front, down, down. I'm probably out of the camera frame, sorry. But he got it, right? arms at the bottom. Okay, Turkish. One way down. Get rid of that. Let's do this. Bring your back. 
Ready? Here we go. I'm nice and wide in my stances. Okay? Last one on this side. So, push up, wide. Down, hand is wide. Switch arms. Feeling good? Me too. Okay, here we go. Up and one, two. Straight arm lift if you want for your lateral. A little bit more difficult. With lifting the eights here, this is good for me. Last lateral, boom. All right, woo! One more round for you. Quick water break if you need. If not, let's keep going. Let's take it down to the ground. I'm gonna grab my 15s. You're gonna do a glute thrust while chest pressing. So I'm gonna do a narrow down turn wide down. Get ready. All right, here we go. Hips are up each time and press. Narrow, up, wide, press. Okay, just a nice even rhythm here. Don't have to go too fast. Especially if you're lifting heavier. Really squeeze those glutes at the top. For this rep range, 15s feel like work for me, for sure. Bent over rows and flies are next. Grabbing my eights for that, probably. All right, Woo, good. That felt like work. All right, hinging forward at the waist, rounded arms, okay? I'm gonna do a reverse fly into a bent over row. Get ready, let's go. Nice neutral neck and up, rounded wide and narrow. Try to keep your body in the same spot. Don't bob up when you're doing the fly. Fifteen seconds. Because of that rep range, it's eight pounds feels like it might be enough. Okay, cardio, two knees, one, two, four scissors, two, three, four, okay? Get ready, here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, got it? That's it. Two. Make it nice and quick, you wanna get that heart rate up here. Okay, that did it. 
Back to the ground. Back to our 15s. Narrow wide press with the glute squeeze. Whew. All right, let's do it. Up, narrow, up, wide. Squeeze the glutes. You're up there for a second, so it's a good time to really engage the, those muscles there. All right, rows and flies. at the waist, super flat back, and up, and row. Put your mind in the muscles you're working. seconds stick with me here come on and pull anyone can do anything for ten five four almost there come on pull it up mm. okay sit that cardio this cardio is fun for me is it fun for you too not horrible you're ready shake it out two knees up up Four scissors. Get those knees up high, come on. And touch. One, up, one, two, three, four. Okay, whew. last round. Already? This is flown by. Hopefully it's been quick for you guys too. Get ready to get on with your day. All right, here we go. Up and press. Last one here. And okay, 
Last cardio. Woo. Who kicked this workout? This was not horrible. Okay. <laughs> Do you agree? Let me know in the comments below what you thought of today's workout. Let's go. Up, up, come on. Really give me everything you got now. If it's the last 45 seconds of your workout today, make it count. Boom, boom. Get those hands in there on that scissor. That'll help increase your heart rate. Ten seconds, come on. Let's go, let's go. Up, up. This is kind of like dancing. I'm really enjoying this one, <laughs> clearly. Woo! Oh, good job, you guys. You move daily. It feels good. You could always do this a whole other round if you wanted, can't you? I feel like the, I have the energy to do that right now. I don't know, I'll film something else. Okay, thanks for joining. Join me for a stretch if you can. If not, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Let me take it into a little glute stretch. Once your heart rate's come down slightly, bring the knees together, try to push your hip away. Deep breath in through the nose. Slow exhale. Good. Yeah, so as that girl was saying, how blasted she feels when she does the metabolic in a fasted state, I, I don't blame her at all. I would feel the exact same. That workout actually, I told her, I believe that day I had a nap in the afternoon as well. It's intense. Like for an hour of intense work like that, lifting heavy, it's, it's not easy. Let's come up here, stretch, push your thumb to the ceiling. Um, so. It makes sense. And the question also is like, are you new to fitness? If you're new and you're just starting to do longer, more intense workouts like that, uh, that might uh, require more reparation, right? And if you're not sleeping well, that's the time that the body actually does the lion's share of the repair. So if you're only getting five or six hours, that's huge. Your body's not going to be repaired enough to do it again the next day, round through the back. Do you know how critical sleeping is to repairing after a workout? It's huge, and if you can't sleep well, you've got to find out ways to do it. I have links and books in my links below, um, round in the chest. Uh, Ariana Huffington's book on sleep, what's it called again? The Evolution of Sleep. It's good because uh, you've, got to, you've got to make that a priority. That's her soapbox, it has to be your soapbox too. If you wanna uh, be as healthy as you can, that has to be part of your protocol and focus on a daily basis. So, having a nighttime routine, really important. Having a morning routine, equally important. Um, my nighttime routine gets me into sleep land. I mean, I'm probably gonna go into menopause shortly, so I haven't struggled with that hormone fluctuation and and that sort of thing, but I haven't had a problem sleeping, but my nighttime routine is stellar. Like it's on point. Don't have anything to eat or drink after, well, nothing to eat after 6 p.m., okay? I go to bed at nine though, because I wake up early, switch arms. Um, nothing to drink after seven, because I don't want to be out going to the bathroom multiple times a night. That takes me out of RAM and no thank you. We have white noise in the room, uh, blackout blinds. Our room's nice and cool. Um, what else is good about, uh, no white or blue light an hour before bed and I have a bath every single night. I feel grateful that I can do that, but at least 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour before bed, I get myself into that and it just puts me into a total sleepy land. So make sure you're focusing on your nighttime routine as well. All right. Thanks for joining. As always, move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. If you like these 30 minute little quick workouts for your summer, click or tap the screen right there. That's my playlist for the whole summer. All right, see you guys in the next workout.